In the blue corner from Denmark is the official Lego Mora. And all the way from China in the red corner is a Lego compatible mortar. Let's get ready to rumble! Is that it? <sighs> so while I've already decided to buy some fake Lego mortars and servos and buy the official Lego mortars and servos and do a fight out. Which one's best? Are Lego mortars worth the money or are these copies secretly better? So, just, just wait a minute there. Is it better to have a higher RPM or a lower RPM? Who is to judge? Well, apparently me. If we're talking an RPM of just one or two RPM, then yes, obviously the slowest would be the most rubbishiest. However, when you're talking RPMs in the several hundred, it really is, it doesn't really matter. And on top of that, what you want from a, a compatible Lego mortar, aka fake, you want it to perform very similar to Rigo. So in this instance, I'm sorry, you know, comment down below if you want, but my judgment is, if it's not matching the real Lego for RPM speed at the given voltage, then it's a loser. Move on. Let's just pause there for a moment. Just to explain what torque is, it's a measure of turning force and well, Lego motors turn, so they must have a turning force. So how would we measure it? We just need to know the force that the motor can apply at a given distance. Look at my test rig here, I'm using my kitchen scales to measure the downward force that the motor will exert but obviously the longer this beam then the smaller the force will be felt by the scales due to the mechanical disadvantage of the leverage of the beam. So just measuring that would be bad. To get the torque, we need to multiply the downward force by the length of the beam from the motor, and that will give us the torque. If the beam was shorter, then a greater force due to less leverage, or leverage, will be felt on the scales then the distance you multiply by will be less. And so the value for torque would actually be the same. Cool, got it? Well, even if you haven't, all you need to know is that the bigger the torque number, the better. Oh, and one more thing, force is measured in Newtons, and my scales only measure in mass units because they're kitchen scales. So that is to say measuring grams, or if you're American or very old English person, ounces. So the number you see on the scales 
will be converted to Newton units by some magical trickery called maths. Let's get on with the results. So in this test, I'm just letting it free spin. I need the fake Lego. It just drops off after a few seconds. Now in a model, that might not be a problem because you might have it constructed it so it's held into position. And that won't matter. But if you look here as well, it's really difficult to get the real shaft out of the real Lego motor. And it practically slips in and out of the fake one. Really sloppy fit. Now let's just pause there a minute again. The fake was 92 decibels, the real around 82 decibels. That you might think only a 10 decibel difference, but the decibel scale is different. It is not linear. I, as a rule of thumb, a 10 decibel increase in level is roughly twice the volume intensity, twice as loud. And you may have noticed it when you're watching the video that that first motor, the fake one, did sound significantly louder than the real one. And that's shown on the actual results. The intensity is roughly twice as much. Moving on. So what's the verdict? Looking at the basic stats, we have four wins for Lego and two for the non-Lego, with some tests being arguably more subjective than others, perhaps. On the face of it, Lego wins. One thing not mentioned, of course, is price. The fakes can be considerably cheaper. Otherwise, you wouldn't even think of buying them, would you? Legally, I'm unsure where these companies stand who make these, I suspect they are not legally made. So you have a moral decision there too. And on the top of it, or on the top of that, there were properties I couldn't test. For example, the quality of the motor. Apart from the clutch grip, which was poor, I could not check if these will keep working longer. I cannot check what the uh, that the plastic is robust. And I could not check what chemicals the plastics are made from. Do they meet the legal standards in your country? One thing is for sure, Lego ones will. On the whole, from both a moral and performance perspective, the Lego ones win. Price is just that tempting factor that, it, that can affect our decisions, particularly if we need several mortars for a particular project. I said particularly a lot there, didn't I? Anyway, that's all for now. Like and subscribe, yada yada yada. Thanks my patrons and thank you very, very much for watching.